Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV's Pop Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pop Animation's Space Ghost number 122, Space Ghost Vinyl Figure. Stay tuned. So, hey guys, welcome to Come Again. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, like I said, this is Come Again TV's Pop Reviews, Pop Animation, Space Ghost 122, Space Ghost Vinyl Figure. I say Space Ghost twice because Space Ghost was the name of the show, and Space Ghost is the name of the figure. So, we have Space Ghost on the front here. DC has um, started revamping some of the uh, characters from uh, Hanna-Barbera. And whatnot here lately uh, in the 60s and 70s and 80s Space Ghost was an actual superhero then in the 90s and early 2000s he became a late-night talk show host on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim and now DC is restoring him back to his once superhero greatness so on the side here you got Space Ghost peeking up Got Pop Animation Space Ghost. On the back, you have number 122 is Space Ghost. 123 is Zorak. Number 124 is Brack. Collect the entire line of Funko Pop Hanna-Barbera super stylized vinyl figures. www.funko.com On the bottom there. And on the top there. Then on the side, you got Space Ghost there. Let's take this guy. Let's open this guy up and take a look inside. All right, so this guy has been on my Amazon wish list for a while now. Right up there with the three different phantoms. You got the gray phantom, you got the purple phantom, and you got the violet phantom. But today we're going to be talking about Space Ghost. The family and I went to Walmart the other day and right next door was GameStop. I wanted to go in there and browse around, see what kind of uh, exclusives they had. I was not disappointed as soon as I walked through the door. Originally my intention was just to browse, but I saw Space Ghost right off the bat. I had to have him. So with that being said, since I was getting a Funko Pop and with Easter being tomorrow, Sunday, but with Easter being just a few days away. I decided to let the kids each pick out their own Funko Pops as well. Uh, my son Duke picked out the Morphing exclusive Blue Ranger. My daughter Allie picked up Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. And my daughter Marissa picked up a Me Metals Diecast Spider-Man. So let's take a look at this guy. You can see he's got the black mask. He's got the uh, narrowed eyes, white with black eyelids. Got the nose, no mouth. Got the uh, Space Ghost symbol here, yellow cape, white paint job, red bracelets. And I've looked before on YouTube and a lot of people have complained about the paint job on the belt. There's uh, very sl sloppy with most Space Ghost figures. Uh, the red bleeds off quite a bit with mine. It's just a tiny bit of bleeding. So that is very nice. Uh, the bracelets, the yellow buttons, no bleeding there. No bleeding there. Got the yellow cape. Very nice figure. I've been a fan of Space Ghost since I was very little. Very cool design. Uh, I even drew a picture of Space Ghost, a comic book style Space Ghost uh, a few years ago for a uh, one-time friend of mine uh, that he put as his profile picture. I'm gonna show that to you guys right here. 
So that's enough of me showcasing my artwork. Let's keep talking about Space Ghost. Space Ghost was created by Hanna-Barbera uh, Productions in the 60s. And he has been one of the longest lasting characters from Hanna-Barbera uh, for many, many decades. Uh, like I said before, he was a superhero from the 60s up until the 80s. Then he became a talk, a late night talk show host in the 90s and early 2000s. And now DC Comics is bringing him back as an actual superhero. You know, I've read all this stuff about Space Ghost to prepare for this episode, but I forgot it. <laughs> I know his he was a space cop. His family was killed, and he went. He's from the ghost planet, which is Earth, uh, wiped out Earth or whatever. Um, he received these gauntlets and this costume, and decided rather than using these newfound powers for vengeance, he'd use it to continue to fight crime in outer space. He does have a wide variety of superpowers. He can turn invisible. He can turn translucent, or yeah, translucent. Or he can phase, which means his uh, objects can pass through him. I believe he can shoot energy blasts out of his bracers. Uh, he can fly. He can breathe in outer space. Um, just so much, and he has three sidekicks. He's got. Uh, Zane and Jara, and then the monkey. Uh, I forget the name. Uh, forgive me if I get those names wrong. Um, it's been a while since I've watched Space Ghost, uh, but I'm still a huge fan. I just, I love this figure. I've wanted him for so long. Uh, I just can't get over him. Uh, just such a cool figure. I may have to look for the actual action figure on Amazon just so I can add him to my collection. He's just, such a cool design. I'm glad DC has brought him back and made him a superhero again. There you have it, guys. Come again, TV's pop review, pop animation, Space Ghost number 122, Space Ghost final figure. Take care, guys, and we'll see you next time. subscribe button make sure you hit the like comment below and share with your friends <laughs> i hate you